So for this objective, we're looking at real-world scenarios involving proportional and non-proportional relationships. So just to review, remember a proportional relationship doesn't have a y-intercept. Now in the real-world situation, what that means is there's not going to be any material cost or any service fees or any one-time charge that doesn't have to do with a rate. So a lot of times you'll see a per hour and then if there's also a service fee added on, well that's a non-proportional relationship. For a proportional relationship, it would just be per hour. So for example, somebody pays a babysitter $10 per hour. That's it. That's a proportional relationship. But if someone pays a babysitter $10 per hour plus $20 but for gas money because they live way out in the country, well then that would be a non-proportional relationship because you have that added cost on there that's just a flat fee. And so what you want to really watch for is anytime there's a flat fee or a service fee or a one-time fee or a material fee that's really talking about this y-intercept because it's a standalone value that's going to be added to your, your changing value based on how much time typically um, is in the situation. So for example, uh, on question number one, a plumber charges a $75 service fee on answer choice A. Well, that's a non-proportional relationship because that service fee doesn't have anything to do with his per hour rate of $30. So that equation would look like y equals 30x plus 75. Non-proportional relationship. Um, answer choice B, paid a $1 flat fee plus, okay, non-proportional relationship once again. Um, Answer choice C, concert tickets are $60 each. That's it, okay? So now let's look at answer choice D. A nine inch candle burns at a rate of one inch per hour. Well, that's one inch per hour, right? But wait, the candle itself starting at nine inches and then shrinking one hour, one inch, excuse me, per hour. So our answer for the first one is C, that the concert tickets, because they are $60 per ticket. That's it. No added fee, no starting point, none of that. Just here's what it is at this rate. That's a proportional relationship. Before we go through this one, I'd like you to pause the video and see if you can identify the proportional relationship within those scenarios. And what I'd like you to do is really key in and perhaps even circle or underline or put a star next to anywhere where you see those flat fees or one-time charges to see if you can eliminate some answer choices. So go ahead and pause the video and then we'll come back and verify that you got the correct answer. All right, so hopefully you chose answer choice H for your correct answer. Now let's talk about why, because this was a little bit tricky because they put two numbers in answer choice H. But what I want you to key on on is both of those were rates. It was both per hour. So yes, it was $100 for this and $10 for this, but they were both per hour. So what you would end up with is 110 per hour. Now, hopefully in answer choice F, you circled service charge because that's a one-time fee. Hopefully in answer choice G, you circled cost of materials because that would be a one-time fee. And hopefully in answer choice J, you circled charge for automotive, additional charge for automotive parts, which would also be a one-time fee. So for F, G, and J, there was an additional one-time or constant charge to go with the hourly rate that went with the cost. Whereas with answer choice H, it was just the hourly rates. Now there were two of them, but they were both per hour. And you could have actually combined them into one slope or one rate of change, and you would have ended up with Y equals 110X. So once again, I'd like you to pause the video, take a look at these, and see if you can identify the proportional relationship in the scenarios that are given. And then once you've selected your answer, unpause and we'll verify that you got the correct answer. So hopefully you chose J as your correct answer. Now again, very similar to the previous question in that 
they had two rates in there, but both rates were per pound. So you could have come up with a total rate for the scenario by adding 175 and 16 cents. And you would have ended up with $191 per pound as your K or your M value. Now, the rest of them, answer choice F, $5 for the basket, that's a one-time fee. Um, $3 delivery charge, that's a one-time fee. Now, interesting enough, H is $1 off coupon. That would have been a one-time discount, which we would have actually written in as minus one. But still, a constant value, not a proportional relationship. And so our answer is J.